Hello everyone, welcome back to GI Players. Ghost Trick. I had to remember what the name of the dang game was. I'm playing with Anthony Cheesy and... Tonight is the hairiest of all nights, my deadline. All I need to get some... All I need to get some inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is the... To, here is to the boorish people next door. Screw you! Uh, what's that? Are you alright, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Oh, these heels are killing my back! Well, here I am in yet another strange room. What's with this oddly tense air of this place anyway? Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? Aww. Someone's actually sick, and she's actually taking care. Okay, uh, her wanting everyone to keep it down, so that way whoever she's taking, I'm guessing her daughter's like resting or something like that. Maybe she just needs her sleep, and the dog's just keeping her up or something. There it is, the telephone. Now you just borrow it. Although why is the phone right next to her? But, oh well. What does this do? Fascinating. Oh no! Took the bird. Okay. Bring in the rat! I didn't even realize this is what you had to do, but okay. <laughs> Man, we're just sending this rat on a journey. He's like, what the hell is going on? This thing is a little... Is, oh, damn it. This thing is too heavy. I can't manipulate it. What the heck is it? Maybe that woman built up her destructive power by hefting this puppy. It's more like a weapon than a book. That's a book. Wait, where'd the rat go? I really can't do a thing. Oh, there's the rat. He's back up there. There's nothing I could do about the bottle. Okay, maybe watch the rat do something. Oh, possess the rat. Oh, no, I'm not possessing the rat. I'm possessing this thing. What the hell? Oh, Mr. Prime Minister, you mustn't. A married woman. Ew. And I'm a married... And I'm a married man. But we cannot resist this any longer. I'm ready to abdicate it all for you. Even it means my ultimate ruination. Um. Ruination, is that even a word? And that abdicate just doesn't look right somehow. This is going to nag at me until I'm sure. Okay, so I just keep manipulating the rat or something? Oh no, I gotta wait. I had to wait for her to get over here, okay. Where's that dictionary? Lady, do you not know it's a big ass freaking New York rat right next to you? There it is. What was that beast thing that I just saw a moment ago? Yeah, you didn't even freak out about the rat. What the hell? But it's strange. I know I left this dictionary on the shelf. It's as if some little angel were playing naughty tricks on me. Oh, I saw hair. Perhaps my darling angel. <laughs> This dictionary is clearly one of the best Tolkien works. Oh, where is she going now? Oh, oh, no, you're leaving me. 
Aww, she's actually adorable. What is it, my darling angel? Oh, my head hurts, Mama. Oh, you poor dear. And no wonder, with a fever of a hundred and two, here is to a night of fever hotter than the love of my prime minister. Mommy, why do you keep talking about adultery stuff in front of me in my own room? Because I'm a bitch. It's almost time to go out for my lesson. Can I take the night off? Yes, I suppose that would be best. But wait a minute. I bet you're happy to have an excuse to get out of it, aren't you? Not especially. If I ever don't get want to go, I just don't go. I pretend I did. I go play with Camilla next door or something. Here's to the blunt honesty of my darling angel. Also, what the hell did I just hear you say? Hey, today is Papa's birthday. Oh, is it? I, I could care less. Aren't we going to celebrate together? Let's not talk about your father, dear. I'm too busy talking about my adultery. Now Mama has to go to back to work. I have a deadline tonight, after all. God, you're such a bitch. I have just one thing to say. Don't try and put me in the middle of you two, okay? Whatever could you be talking about? I know what's going on, you know. You write novels and Papa wants you to stop. But it was very selfish of you to take me and leave the house. I want to go home. Fuck, douche. Now, now, it's time for good little girls to go to sleep, especially sick little girls. Cheers! What's what the frick is that her only like motion like freaking just sh like cheers in her glass like yes my daughter hates me cheers This is a fun ass voice to do I'm not gonna lie Also drama These two are quite a pair The father would have to be a pretty strong man to hold his own against them It sounds like their family circumstances are co pretty complicated what if I had a family? How was I born? Of course I have a family! Okay, so I turned off the light she has here, so... Oh, my lamp is out! I'm just gonna keep screwing with you. What the- Oh! Dear Lord! I farted! <laughs> Eek! What's going on? My gas lit freaking lamp isn't working. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I know I have to go to the phone, but ah, I was gonna try and find a way to screwing around with the room. I wanna help this kid. Hello, is that you? How many times are you going to make me tell you? Tonight is the holiest of all nights, my deadline. Please, I'm begging you, change your mind and come home to me. I think you're the one who needs to change his mind. Please put yourself in my position. You can write your novel just as well from home. Until you change your mind, your daughter and I won't be coming home. Even if that means forever! Oh, what a bitch! Let me talk to me, Emily. Emily? How do you pronounce this name? Then at least. You can't talk to her. She's sick with a fever right now. And I won't have you giving her nightmares. I want to talk to Papa! Now shut the frick up. I didn't want to hear your voice anymore tonight. Please, wait a minute. Don't try to call again. I won't answer. I refuse to answer. Alrighty then. Ladies Red Apartment. Trouble Man's Apartment. Dear God. Now I finally have the telephone lines I need. I'm curious about this woman's husband, but I should go find my only lead first. That hitman who's after Lynn is sure to be heading to the junkyard right now. I better hurry. Is there any way I could possibly screw with this woman? Nope.
Uh, we'll have to deal with that, I guess, sometime. Wait, whoa, 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 why was this staticky? Oh, well, to the junkyard! This game is fun! Didn't expect freaking family conflict to be in it, but shit! Also, I got that she was, like, writing the adultery stuff or something like that in her novel or something. So. Not much time has passed since I was here last, but the situation has changed. Hey, they found my corpse. Looks like they're examining my body. I wonder who they are. Hey, Mr. Nestlamp! You're just dancing! And beside them is a certain somebody else who wriggles and bounces happily. I wonder who that person really is, too. Wait, is it not the same person? You're back. You weren't gone very long. What's going on here? The police are here to start your the criminal investigation. You know, into your murder. My murder case, eh? Where's Lynn? Is she alright? So you found out her name already, did you? I'm impressed. This just happened last episode. It sounded like she was in some kind of immediate danger. Not to mention the fact a hitman is after her again. Well, you don't have to worry about the, that kind of thing. She was just taken into custody a few minutes ago. Custody? You mean she was arrested? But why? I don't know. I'm a just a I'm just a desk lamp. Huh? I better see what I can find out. Trick time. Quite a thing, huh? This case? Yeah, one of our own, a murderer. Heads with, will roll over this. And she's a rookie, too. I hear she's... Uh, dear God, why can't I read? I heard she was carrying out some crazy investigation. Rookies aren't given crazy assignments like that. Not even rookies like Lynn. Yeah, well, I heard she was special. She's got strong ties to Inspector Cabanella of the Special Investigation Unit. Hmm. I plan on moving up the ladder on my own merits myself. Well, we detectives shouldn't be standing around gossiping. Never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Okay, so who the frick are you? Huh, he's saying something, but I can't hear him from here. Come a little bit closer, you're my kind of man. Not really. Plus, I'm more into women. I think we can safely assume the cause of death was the bullet he took to the chest. Bring the stretcher. I look into the rest back at the lab. Would you mind waiting here for a bit, Doctor? Inspector Cabanella, head of the Special Investigation Unit, is on his way now. Special Investigation Unit? What do they want with a case like this? I don't know, but Cabanella's our top investigator. We don't want to get him all bent out of shape, or they'll be held away. Huh. Don't see what that has to do with me. I don't really get what Cabanella wants to come for either, but it's probably just a big lark for him. But it makes things tougher on us. Hey, watch what you say behind his back. You never know who might be listening. Like me. Like me. Awesome. You've got style. He's got some punch. Pizzazz. Oh, the tension of the crime scene. Booyah! Oh my god, this guy is awesome! Yeah! Nothing like it, baby! Oh, this guy! Are all y'all stunned shitting your pants after seeing me? Evening, boys! How's it looking? Inspector Cabanola, thank you for coming. Allow me to report, sir. 
fine, fine. You just hold that thought. I'm gonna make a little phone call first. Hoo yeah! What's shaking now, eh? So this is the head of the special. Oh, dear God! Now I can't even do my own real voice for this guy. So this is the head of the special investigation unit. He seems a uh, unique. Updated the phone book. Now let's just eavesdrop in on this conversation. Who the frick? Dear me, dear. How's it going over there, baby? Going? How's it going, you ask? You like to know how it's going? I would say it's going well enough, about fair to average. If I had to say, yes, it's going all right. How much of it did you smoke? I said leave half of it for me. Not the man I was hoping to talk to there, baby. Do me a favor and put that other nice man on the horn now, would you? That's a nice fellow. If it has anything to do with this park, I'm the one to talk to. I'm the guardian of this park, yes. Get out of the way, freak! Ah, sorry about that, Inspector. I just got here. Well, glad to hear you made it. That other fellow just about threw me for a loop. Stop blathering him. Something about being guardian of the park or some such. Yes, him. Uh, sorry about that. Well, start doing your staking out thing, baby, and buzz me if anything comes up. Yes, sir. Please stop calling me, baby. Park! Alan, sir, if I may make my report, sir. Doc! Yoo-hoo! Oh, Doc! Talking to me! I need you to handle this case with your finest care and attention. Would you do that for me, Doc? Don't need to tell you to tell me how to do my job. Any hoot, I'd like to see the suspect now, if I may. Lynn, sir, I asked her to let herself be taken into custody voluntarily, sir. She's being detained in the junkyard superintendent's office right now. Super's office, eh? Super! And where's that? Just beyond where you parked your bicycle, Inspector. I'll go interview the suspect then. Yeah! Nothing like it, baby. I'm really digging this voice. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Carry on, boys! You don't need to keep saluting me, man. Such an ass kisser. Tell me he doesn't do a couple of ee-hees every now and then. Alright, it's trick time, and we will do this next time. See you guys soon for more Ghost Trick.